speakers up. My name is Nathan Rowe. I'm one year fresh out of high school and my band is Middle High. Um, I dropped out of high school on my birthday in the year 2018. After that, I moved to Chicago to pursue a professional wrestling. Realized that that is not for me and I, I moved back to Washington. <laughs> I've been a part of Middle High since we started in 2016. Um, it's, been a great, it's been a great time since then. <laughs> The main thing that we wanted to do was, was cover 20 on Pilots, but we just wanted to have fun. And I, and I think that me and Zach wouldn't be as great of friends if we didn't start this band back in 2016. What's up, man? Yeah! <laughs> hey, Zach, how's it going? It's going good. How good, you good. Congratulations on the uh, premiere, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Music has been a part of my life um, ever since I was little. My my brother actually told me a story when I was like still a toddler, and I picked up like a random guitar, and some and some some lady in the house was like, "He's gonna become like he's gonna be he's gonna be big in the music world." Discovered this kind of music, I would say like Twenty One Pilots, as you mentioned, were and the reason why we're a band is a, is a big part. We've covered multiple bands like. Like AJR, Judah and the Lion, um, Jimmy Eat World, Green Day, all these bands that are sort of in the alternative world, like like those big bands, um, got us really into this music. I think just like going to concerts and seeing those bands like up on the stage and like the crowds like loving what they do, I just, like I just knew I wanted to be a part of that some way somehow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if band what was always the the exact um, way I wanted to go, but I but I've always wanted to do something with music. I personally think that this show is going to be better than the rest of them just because we've put we've put so much time into this one and yes we have put a lot of time into the other concerts but like with this one I I made sure that the lights were made like a month in advance to the show to make sure that I, that if anything was like wrong with the lights I could 100% like fi fix anything that was wrong um, I now have it set. I now have it have it set up to where Zach Lurie just hits a button and everything starts. Music goes through the speakers. The light the lights are synced with the music how I want them to be synced. Unlike 
past concerts where I had a friend doing it and I couldn't really portray what is in my mind. So I think this one is going to be the best one of them all. So the reasoning behind the name of the show, um, the singer of 21 Pilots, Tyler, he created this world named Trench. And in that world, there's a city named Dima. And in Dima, there's these nine bishops, which are kind of like the bad people of said city. While Tyler is trying to escape Dima, and that is the name of the show. So what are you guys doing today? Here we do a full run through. So what are you guys doing right now? Just We're like talking about the opening of the show. Josh like coming out with like a full on fucking torch. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. are we lighting your house on fire? No. Okay. I can walk out with like a lighter app on my phone. No, so that's why I brought this out because Casper actually came out with this sick little light. But it but it brights up a fuck ton. Holy shit. Yeah. So why don't you like at the back of the crowd, like walking through the crowd with like this in your hand all the way up to the drum set. Cause like this is not lighting the house on fire. That's no, not. And fairly easy because all you need to do is turn it on, is literally flip it over. Really? Well, that's nice. Not sponsored by Casper. If only I could keep you in my pocket to give me some diagnosis of why I'm so hollow Please give me instructions, I promise I'll follow I tripped on my ankle and fractured my elbow But doesn't that mean that the tour's gonna sell? Though I try to explain the good faith that's been wasted But after an hour it sounds like complaining Wait, don't go away, can I lie here forever? You say that I'm better, why don't I feel better? The universe works in mysterious ways, but I'm sorry Very important band work going on over here. In preparation for the last show, he must do the one thing that no other band can. Reset the internet. <laughs> How'd you feel about that last uh, that last set? You seem like you were really like getting into it, man. Like the the yeah. technique and the method is very flashy, but I can also see it's super, super technical. Yeah, I mean, I was enjoying it a lot. I have a lot of practice to do. I haven't really gotten to prepare for this too much myself, so I'm going to be doing that a lot the next week and a half. Um, thought it went okay, considering how prepared we both are. Um, I think we definitely need to improve a lot before our show, but I think we're going to get there. It's a fun set. Nice, nice. You just finished your first year of uh, Central Washington, was it? I did, yeah. Nice. And how'd that go for you? Uh, it went well. I'm a, I'm a music major, and they keep music majors really busy there. Right so on, yeah. I haven't got much time, especially to do stuff like this that isn't really with their curriculum. So it's... Uh, yeah, for sure. It feels good to be back. A lot of uh, involvement with the jazz band, too, I've noticed, right? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm very, very heavily involved with the jazz program. So I still get to play drum set a lot. Um, it's great. It's helped me a lot with my studies there. Um, yeah. Right on. Well, it's looking good so far. Thank you. Uh, this one's gonna be from a chair, or. I think the next few songs are gonna be from a chair. I had to take too much energy off. <laughs> 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 I have four days off to do, like, granted, I could probably recover faster, if so, yeah, more practices, but I have like four days to myself, and it, and then, right, we get here. Nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission.
Too distorted through the mic. Yeah, mic volume down. I'm 
You're pulling up curtains? Yeah. Oh, so this entire area right here is going to be off limits then? Yeah. Gotcha. Just, see, it's a little bit more clean than it was, but it does still need to be clean. I'm doing that after practice. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot nicer. That's good. What's happening, dude? Nothing much. Ready for some rehearsal. Oh, yeah. I'll probably do four for me just because. Yeah, that's twice. Fucking bolts. So I call him across the street. Um, so she runs a business out of her house. Yeah. And um, they have a ton of vendors over right now. Uh, so if we're too loud, I just Carolyn's there right now. She said she'll text me, and we'll just have to stop. They're done at two. Uh, so um, so like if we're too loud, we'll just have to stop. And oh, sweet. Make sure the heads up though. Yeah, definitely. I was glad Carolyn told me because I was like, I was like, we're about. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna be loud. This is for today. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta make sure we don't disrupt the neighbors too much, especially with a concert coming up. <laughs> it will be disrupted with that, so we don't want. You guys didn't know about the neighbors, though, right? Yeah. Please. Did you notify the neighbors, Nathan? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you really? Yes, I did. Okay. okay. Right. Do you want to start with me across? Yeah. Across the pond of wood. Um, so I don't start. I just have it flipped over off, obviously, and then. And I'll just be like, whoa. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Um, if that does happen, just flip that over again. Okay. And I'll just be like. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. He was selling me on that shit, dude. I I know. I have footage of it. <laughs> oh yeah, you were there for that one. Just... <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> okay. Um, oh my god. Water. Are you sure that you're okay? Dude, I'm fine. Dude, th I heard that from a mile away. It's <laughs> funny as shit, dude. Well, you're like a a foot away. So. <laughs> one. Two, three, five thousand two hundred eighty. No, I'm a mile away. Ah, oh, got him.
happens when we're singing along and you don't sing in tune with them is you get this thing called dissonance, hmm. which is like these wavelengths that go through the air. It's like whizz, 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 whizz. And an adage of the pen is right, like heard it a lot. Hmm. Um, and that's one of the problems with not playing with the instrumentals and with playing with him is unless you're singing in tune with him, yeah. it's going to not sound good. Yeah. So that's the problem I've noticed with Attic of the Pen. Mm. I haven't really noticed it too much with the others where it would be like super obvious. But yeah. I just thought that's something I'd bring to mind. Mm. Especially since it's later down in the playlist, which I'm assuming is getting harder to sing. Yeah. So, um, so just something to keep in mind. is, And it's also like, it's a lot harder to like play around with like the feeling and stuff like that when you're singing along with them. Because yeah. it's, it's just so obvious. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, just something I thought I would let you know. Uh, Thank you. Yep. Some I noticed. You guys are going to play with the instrumentals for the show though, right? Um, I try to switch out some, but... Every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the last one, so it's like, what are they going to do? Call the cops Does again? the homeowners association themselves have? No, I guess not. It's just neighbors. Uh, I mean, I can't blame them. Yeah, me neither. I mean, it pissed me off. I can't blame them all the time. Especially, remember when we tried to have a concert outside? Yeah, that was... A that was a f***ing stupid idea. I mean, that was... That was a freaking stupid idea. <laughs> you know? I swear, I don't care. Okay. That was a fucking stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> Blasphemy. This is a Christian household, and you better wash your mouth out with soap. Now we've offended people watching the movie, dude. Watch it. Watch your language. Watch my language. You're the one that said the F word in a Christian house. Yeah, don't get Nathan's mom all up in here. <laughs> I'm not joking though, she, she doesn't like swearing. Really? She doesn't like the F word even though I've heard her drop it on multiple accounts when it is not one. I've been, dude, she doesn't like we've been friends for so long, long and you've never told me. How many times have you said the F word in your house? How many times have you said it yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Jump, but he started at the wrong time, so that he did it, and then he jumps like half a beat early. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. Funny. Were you playing the hi hats during that part? What? Were you playing the hi hats during that part though? I was, and I started, and I started doing a build, but then you started early, so then I started going with you. Uh, <laughs> I have to go with you. That's my job. <laughs> I think that's right. 
like, like nothing on you, but I think that's where I fucked up because I because right. I could hear like the symbols like bleeding into my ears, and I was like, oh shit, is that I, what? I could not do it if that helps. <laughs> no, you're fine. Like I want you to do it, but I just need to make sure that I know in my ears when to start. Okay. So you're uh, give me a second to finish. Yeah, this I think about. I'm just not gonna do anything, and then I'm gonna fill into the jump so that we're on time. Well, no, like I want you to like open hi hats when I'm doing like one, two, or like the one, two, three jump. Okay. All right, guys, so you have one day left before the big show. How do you guys feel right now? Tired. But excited. I'm hungry, honestly. The, okay, those were not the responses I was hoping to get. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. Thank you. I wanted something great. My love fulfilled and then deflated. Fill the fire, it's real desire. I know it's dire my time today. I have these thoughts so often I am three, but that's not of what I once thought. Somebody stole my car radio and now I just sit in silence. Sometimes quiet is violent. I find it hard to hide in my drive. No longer inside. It's gone. I see my skin no stream reminding me of who I killed in the sky. I dream I hate this car that I'm driving. There's no hiding from me. What's the deal with what I feel? There is an attraction that must have real. I can pull the steering wheel. I have these thoughts, so often I hear I'm dreaming to stop with what I want to stop. Cause somebody stole my car radio, and now I just sit in silence. We got about an hour and a half till show time. No, not till show time, till the doors open. Um, we're a bit behind in the setup. Uh, made a few mistakes with that, so, um, but we're getting there, we're getting closer. Things are clean uh, for people to come in. Uh, we just gotta work on a few more things, maybe get changed, and I think it's gonna be a pretty good show. It's gonna be a good show. Let's see how things turn out. So, someone told me that the inside smells so let me just... Okay, there's a difference in smell, but it's not that bad. I'm David, I'm the stagehand for tonight. Um... I'll be manning the fog machine. I guess, are we both pulling down the curtains or? Just you. Just me. And then um, I'm also managing in the back, making sure Nathan has all his instruments and whatnot. All right, so we're less than 30 minutes till doors open. Um, I feel good. I think it's gonna be good. There are people outside. Uh, so that's already a good sign. And they look like they're here to have a good time. What are you here today to watch? Uh, well, we're here to watch Middle High. I uh, found them on Instagram and went, okay, free tickets, why not? The area is the cleanest I've ever seen this in my life. <laughs> so that right away is a good sign. I think that's that's going to be good. Um, got the stage set up. We're just about set up, ready to go. 
kind of wish we were set up earlier, but it is what it is. We're doing well. Okay. All right, how do you think the show's gonna go? The show's gonna be awesome. I mean, I've watched Zach and Nathan prepare for a while now, so I think, I think we're gonna have something great in store. People might come back during the show, too. Hopefully. Just, just very nervous, and, but very, very excited. Yeah. I started getting nervous like right before the show. <laughs> right before doors opening, I mean. Yeah, look forward to it. That'll be fun. Yeah, finish with a bang. No matter who's here or not, we're gonna finish strong, put on a good show. They said it's bigger than her, the smallest audience ever of one person. That's right. Correction, two people. Zach's friend and my mom. That's right. Or that show where four, like, there's a decent, like, not big audience, but there's like, there's like four people, four of my mom's friends. They just like left halfway through. Uh, that was funny. Yeah. And then we had to stop the show like till they left because I <laughs> did not have time to like say goodbye. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was so funny. And then we just like played like the last two songs after that. Yeah. yeah that was so fun. What a show. Oh, no, I think we finished it out because my uncle was there. Oh, that's right. And then we like played the rest of the show. Your uncle was like signed the shirt. Yeah. That was funny. That was funny. Put my head up first, yeah, set up the cameras. Okay. I'll just go and wrap you So it's not super obvious. This is so far so good. We have people, people are coming, people. Are, so that's one thing. And they're coming on time. Usually they come like 30 minutes late. Maybe even. And then, um, yeah, and people who seem generally interested, which is also nice. Um, we're in our places at the right time. We're set up. We're ready to go. Basically, just start the music and begin. I said you'd start at 8 o'clock. It's not 8 o'clock yet, so yeah. let's see. Uh, I wish I wouldn't pee. What goes through your mind during the performance? What are you thinking about? Um, I try to not think about much other than the music. Otherwise, I just kind of psych myself out and get nervous. Um, usually, I think about how the audience feels, um, which can be hard for me, especially because like, I play in front of really energetic and lively audiences who love it and audiences who don't like it so much, you know? So it's like, you get hurt a lot sometimes, but you just gotta plow through it. Um, Usually I try to keep it to, like, the music. Just keep it to the music, you know?
I do remember just it was even if I felt I had moved on from it at that point as soon as we started it was a good time it was a lot of fun uh, you know the adrenaline was rushing um, especially as the song would come up in our playlist and I'd be like oh, crap how does this go and I, <laughs> so I'd, I'd just, really, just really be trying to like pull that out of my my head and be like what am I supposed to do with this but uh, it was a good time it was a lot of fun
showing up and it was in all honesty it was more people than i thought would come it was still wasn't very many like it wasn't like we sold out the show like all the people who had tickets many of them ended up not being able to come out and things like that which was kind of expected yeah i mean i wasn't i wasn't expecting a ton of people to barge in and be ready to just like get their minds blown but you know i was i was expecting a fair amount It was smaller, uh, but not too small. And it was it was more intimate. It was a lot of, it was friends of ours, which was really cool. And even a few people who were new, um, had never seen us perform before. And um, so it was kind of exciting. Well, this next song starts, I wanted to bring up the house. I should say thank you all for coming to the Escape Team of Show. There are refreshments in the back. I wanted to make sure everybody's doing okay. Sweet. Hit it. It was never like the band was this phenomenal, two musical geniuses, but it was really just like two, two kids having fun on stage. So we would try to interact with the crowd a bit and kind of get people more hyped up and just really have fun with it. How are y'all doing tonight? So I was hoping there's going to be more people in the crowd, but that is not. The truth. Um, so here's how we're gonna do this part. This part. We're gonna have the girls sing one part and the dudes sing the other. Was you ready? One, two.
and I was pretty happy with the crowd we had. Like it was smaller, uh, but not too small. And it was it was more intimate. It was a lot of it was friends of ours, which was really cool. And even a few people who were new um, had never seen us perform before. And um, so it was kind of exciting. Thank you all so much for participating. like our winter wonderland show that we had where it kind of felt like man this is i wish the rest of our shows were like this not to sound like sappy or anything but i felt like we were kids again you know At that point in time, I was kind of like, holy shit. I guess this is the last time I'll be struggling to move the floor tom over my head. But uh, I was also, I guess I was a little sad. And I don't think it really hit me until after we finished. And I was like, oh man, I'm never going to do that again. You know? Yeah. 
why am I time today? I have these thoughts so often I am uh, Maybe that's not with one on one spot and Somebody stole my heart radio And now we just sit in silence Sometimes quiet is violent I find it hard to hide in my pride There's no longer inside It's all my sleep, my skin will scream Reminding me of who I killed inside my dream I hate this car that I'm driving There's no hiding from me I'm forced to deal with what I feel But it's a distraction and that's what is real I can pull the steering wheel I have these thoughts so often I yacht Three times I stop the bottom of spot If somebody stole my car radio And now we just sit in silence Definitely, I guess it's a little more emotional, I guess. 
and more more for me and Nathan, I would say, than for the crowd. I don't think the crowd had much of emotional connection with us. <laughs> came to an end and um you know it was definitely like yeah that 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 right there was like it was it was the end of an era for us It was, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun overall. And just, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad we got to do that last show. Hey Zach, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for uh, taking some time out of your day to, uh, you know, just let me ask you some questions. First of all, I I hope you're staying safe out there. Yep, yep. You, you know, as it's well. a it's a pretty crazy world we're living in right now. It is. But uh, it is. it's it's nice to you know take the time and catch up. Mhm. Mm yeah, definitely. So uh, I know this is a long time coming, but I just. You know, I, I just wanted to ask you about, you know, what you thought about the last uh, Middle High show. Just go through all the reflections, what's going through your mind, just, you know, just let it out. Okay. Um, well, with the last show, um, it was a while ago now, so it's like a little hard to remember back to it. But I do remember um, having the conversation with Nathan of... You know, we were doing this thing for quite a while and we both were, you know, we were growing up and we were just kind of ready to, to move on. Um, you know, I was, we were both working, we were both, I know, like I, I was going to school and we are just kind of becoming kind of busy and this band was really something that we just, we did when we were high school students and it was a lot of fun when we were younger, but at this point it was just kind of like putting in so much work, things like that, when we just, we just both kind of felt that 
you know, it was, it was time to time to end things with the band. We had a good run. Um, so we wanted to make the last show really fun. Um, so, yeah, we decided um, to just kind of go all out with it, just have a good time, just kind of drop the whole serious thing and just really just have fun with it. Is there anything else that you want to add in terms of, you know, the show or, or Nathan, just anything off the top of your mind that you want to add before the uh, interview is over? It was a good time. It was a really good time. And uh, although, like, I am partially glad that it's over just because it was it was time consuming, especially as we got busier and moved on. Uh, I'm really glad we had the opportunity to do that. It brought us closer together, both musically and as friends. And um, and just even Nathan and I are still great friends. And I think a big reason for that is that we were in a band together for so long. It was just, it was a good time. And I wouldn't take it back for the world. I'll put you on the map, I'll cure you of disease.